Good morning, Watson. Howdy, mate. You ready for a big day? Yeah, what is this? I know you guys keep asking for it. I reckon it's been a good three years. Some of us guys are still rocking the original LMCT tops, so we do have some new merch. Oh, I think I over ordered. What do you reckon? That's a steak. <laughs> so we needed to get some hats for GRM. For the boys to wear. Let's open this one. Um, get on here, cause to be honest, I forgot what I even ordered. First box we have. Oh, look at that. This is for GRM boys. That's the racing. LMCT Plus Racing. Ooh. That's pretty good. So that box is for them. Put one of those aside. Oh, we've got another LMCT Racing here. Are they all LMCT Racing? How many bloody hats did I get? Holy <laughs> shit. Are they all LMCT Racing? Did I order that many? <laughs> did you order regular hats? Alrighty, they're all LMCT Plus Racing. Alright, so that's all LMCT Plus Racing. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you got logo as well. Alrighty. Take, um, take a few of them out. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Alright, next box. Next box, we have LMCT Racing. <laughs> yeah, they're four hats. <laughs> oh my god, they are! How Where many hats did you buy? Did you only buy hats? Oh, no, 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 alright. So then we have our normal LMCT Plus. Yeah, nice. Take a few of them there. Here you go, what? <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, now what's in these boxes? What do we have here? We have some hoodies. Ooh, alrighty, so these are the hoodies. Whoa! On the back. Hey! Did you the sleeve? And on the sleeve, look at that. Ah, that's nice. <whistles> nice. Just in case. Nice. Nice. Just in case nobody knew it was LMCT Plus. Front, back, and on the sleeve. What do we have here? I'm gonna More hoodies. Where's the other shit? I'm pretty sure I didn't just get hoodies. I've got so many hoodies. Oh, let's see this thing. This stuff under here. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Right. It looks a little tiny on bloody uh, sandwich That's traps. That's small. Oh, black. Black. Oh, good. Got the black ones? Yeah, black ones. Black was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Good. Now, let's get onto it. Boom. All right, boy, let's go. So we've got something special downstairs. We had a delivery not too long ago. Um, probably everyone knows LMCD Plus started. The backbone of LMCD Plus are GDRs. So we have managed to get our hands on something very, very special. Come down below. It, of course, is... It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but do you... JDM elitists. It's not. The R35 Nismo GDR. Look at it, bud. It's just a good looking car, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's the Nismo edition. Uh, we picked this up from Queensland. Had it shipped straight down here. I had a couple of R35 GDRs. This by far is just incredible. And the R35s, mate, like, they've got their use out of it. 2007 they were first released, so we're talking 14 years. What is this one? 19. 17. 17. 14 years they've had this model, and let me tell you now, the presence of an R35 GDR is just, you can't beat it. Like, we drive supercars, uh, the attention this thing gets on the road, people just are gobsmacked. Pretty crazy. You drive the 1.1 million dollar blue, <laughs> nobody, uh, poor marriage. Uh, is that thing? I'm not quite sure how to say this. Kim Bassinger? Ba Basinger? Marriage. Paul Merrick, Merrick, he took it and he was, he was, he said it himself, he was actually shocked uh, that people didn't really know what this was, even HSV guys that were in Malou's, people don't really know what it is, probably one, because they don't expect this thing to be on the road, two, 
I don't know. I don't know why. I, but if people do know, they know and they lose their mind. Their mind. But this thing, you know, you're talking about a 14 year old car. It is an incredible piece of machinery. What do you think, Lance? It's an amazing machine. So, to tell a Nismo apart from a normal R35 GDR, you've obviously got the exterior of the car. So, you've got the front bar, obviously a massive difference from the front end, it looks a whole lot more aggressive. You've got the front carbon lip, the carbon center mold, uh, you've got the red pinstriping, red accents. You move along the front, obviously you've got the hands, bigger brakes. Can't forget the red pinstripe on the mirror. If you are trying to make a Nismo that a 35 GDR that looks like a Nismo. You can't forget that one. We did that on the white one, remember? I did the red pin striping. I did the mirror as well. You can't forget the mirror. The carbon skirts come around the back. The back's obviously a massive difference. It's a whole lot chunkier, more aggressive, sits lower. You've got the carbon diffuser along the bottom. Obviously the red pin striping. The bigger wang. Bigger, obviously the bigger carbon wing. Just, you can't miss that. Uh, it looks crazy. And the rear bar section, so it's like it's like one big cover that sits on the, the rear bar, so it's like one piece. You've got obviously this, this extended piece here. Uh, normal GDRs don't have that. Iconic rear lights. Nismo badging. It's got Nismo rims on it. And then if you come into the interior, you've got your Recaro Nismo seats, as you can tell. Nismo badging. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how you tell a Nismo apart from uh, a normal R35 GDR exterior, interior. There are a lot of changes, there are a lot of changes, but for the price difference, you'd bloody hope so. So, I think, what do these go for? Three, over 300? Over that. Over 300 for a Nismo. That's a lot of money. Uh, come around the front, under the hood. The engine cover, Nismo labeled. You've got your mechanic, Hand built by Tatsushi Matsumoto. So, shout out to that guy. Specialized. Yeah, shout out to. If you know Tatsushi, tag him below. Tatsushi, good work, mate. He's specialized. Uh, it's a mechanic. Hand signature on the car. So, that is that. So, shall we take it out? Let's go for it. Super excited to take this in for a drive. See, so our R35s were tuned. One of them, the white one we had was running E85, it was tuned, exhaust, whatever. Uh, really opened them up. So to, to drive a stock Nismo, which obviously has more power than 35, will it feel any different? Will it be faster than our tuned one? Let's take it out and see. Alrighty, so inside the R35 GDR, we've obviously got an upgrade to the interior, which was really lacking from the 2007 uh, version. For a car you pay, you know, 200 in excess of $200,000 the interior was lacking so a lot of Alcantara now in here um, upgrade steering wheel dash <laughs> the key fob is shit <laughs> the GDR at the front it's really cheap and nasty now that's one thing that doesn't change in this is the, the GDRs it's that clunky box uh, when I first got my first one, I thought there was something wrong with it with the box it's very clunky very mechanical it makes a lot of noise it's common in all the Nissans. So it's all about performance with the GDR. If you want something that's uh, refined and honed in like a Ferrari, then this car probably isn't for you. That being said, but it is a nice car. The three main controls that all you need to know is these three controls. So you've got your first one is your traction control, slap that into R. Second one is your suspension, obviously your stiffness. Uh, put that in R mode as well, so they obviously this jacks everything up. And then this one's your differential, so quicker shifts and it activates your launch control. Slap that into R as well. So right here you've got your controls to, you know, just change your settings a bit. If you're feeling a bit, you can actually disable traction control as well. Miss that noise? I don't miss that noise. That noise sounds so good. Very stiff ride. Um, yeah, if you're buying a, a GDR and complain about the stiffness of the road, then yeah, this isn't a car for you. You feel everything and you just, you're, you're at one with the road with these things. They're, they're just, they're track weapons. They're built for the track. Yeah. You're not going to buy it and complain about the ride and complain about the noise. You just wouldn't buy a GDR. Yeah, I, I guess it's not a car, it's not a car that just any random can buy. No, it's you're buying it for one reason, one reason only is... For this performance, it's handling. That being said, 
they have updated the like entertainment stuff from the last one. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot more uh, updated from the last. Uh, Quite user friendly too. Oh, where are we headed? So we're we're gonna go to a few quieter roads. Um, just do a couple of launch controls. So apparently. Uh, the specs on this thing, 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds, so we'll give that a crack. Obviously a four-wheel drive system, it should just hook up and go. Um, will it feel as aggressive as the Trackhawk? What do you reckon? I don't think it will. I don't think so. I don't think it will. Maybe um, stock, but not It's a little, little bit, it, it, it's funny to think that it's only a little bit quicker to 100 than the Trackhawk. So uh, that's without launch control. That's without launch control. Exactly, so 3.1 without launch control. So with launch control, I reckon, um, yeah, we would have gotten there. Got in that track hawk to three, possibly a two in front of it. Um, so to a hundred, a two and a half ton car, as quick as this Nismo, this will get there a lot less effortlessly. But the amount of G's this car pulls, you do still feel it in your stomach like the track hawk does. There you go. As I was saying, people absolutely love this thing. I don't know, it's just, it's just a this car just makes you feel good. Would I buy one? 100%. But, I'll probably be waiting for the new model. As I said, this model's been carrying on for 13 years now, so they're, they're I think to next year they are due for an update. So I might just hang out, wait for the new one. But then it's like, the Series 1 is always the shit version, yeah. Yeah, yeah do you get the first one, and then, the next year they bring out a more fine, refined version and a better version or do you just bite the bullet and just get it? At I mean, least, how often do they bring out the Nismo one straight away? No, no, they'll probably bring out the GDR first. Nismo will come. I don't think the, the Nismo didn't come out for a while, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alrighty, we are now on some open bit of road with nobody around. Uh, we'll test some launch shots. So obviously to go into launch control, flick these three switches up Just like that Your traction, your suspension and your transmission Foot on the brake Trump the gas Revs out at 4000 and drop it out recommend and I would be personally definitely 100% putting this into my collection it's an absolute beast it's mind-blowing it looks good it sounds good it goes good it's like a go-kart on tracks it just holds it grips it boogies it just it's absolutely mind-blowing highly highly recommend yes they are expensive yes they are it is an Nissan and you're paying almost supercar prices for it but but the performance, the presence of this car, um, it's just incredible. Highly recommend. And you can win it for just $30. So don't worry about the price. We'll cover the cost of the price and we'll give you guys a chance to win it for just $30. Subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the more content we will push. We get up to a lot of cool things. We drive a lot of cool cars. If you want to see more episodes like this, hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think in the comments below, what you want to see um, more of. 
what you want to see less of. If you want to see less of my mug and more of Watto's behind the screen, let us know. No, Look at this cheeky smile on this guy. Look at the cheeky smile on this guy. But yeah, if you want to see more of us, let us know in the comments and yeah, help us make this channel better. Um, it's all because of you guys we're, we're doing this. So thank you very much and stay tuned for when this goes live. Good luck.